from Online Acoustics. This is the first video that we are doing about one of the softwares that we use in our company called Soundflow from a German company uh, called AFMG. So basically we use this software to predict the absorption and the transmission loss of structures that uh, we don't have any information from manufacturers. So this will be the first video and it will, it will be brief and uh, I'll try to concise all the information as possible. So, um, Soundflow works in a very simple way. So we have the file menu where you can basically open structures, save structures, uh, create a report and export this material to is. Um, then on this window over here, we can, uh, of course, add layers of material. So in this case, we were playing with different layers of rock wool and uh, glass fiber. Of course, we can change any of these. We can, for instance, uh, exclude materials. We can uh, add materials. We can add, for instance, over here, we can add a... Um, an air cavity if you want or any other kind of materials there's a huge list over here from uh, absorbers to perforated panels to plates and for instance let's choose air F air, air cavity this is all in uh, in the metric system by the way so this is 40 millimeters let's say if we want to use uh, 100 sorry 100 millimeters, so 10 centimeters, and uh, here we have the updated systems. And we can add as much layers as we want uh, in our system. And uh, on the right part of the screen, we have our broadband quantities over here. This is all the information in a, num in a numeric point of view. So we have the alpha, so the average absorption, we have the NRC, noise reduction coefficient. We have the RW, C, CT, C, uh, CTR, which is re related to traffic noise. We have the um, um, STC, which is used in the United States. So it's basically, if we want to have like a numeric value to, um, how sh should I say, to classify our structure, we have all this information over here. So, uh, moving down below, we have the chart uh, window. Uh, actually, I have two lines over here because I have two open structures. So I have this open structure over here and I have this open structure over here. And so we can add as much uh, structures as, as we, we want and we can compare different structures uh, with different colors and of course we can change the frequencies so for instance if I want to study only the mid frequencies I would put uh, 200 Hertz over here and maybe two, f two kilohertz over here and here it go if, we, if I wanted to study only the um, low frequency behavior, it will start at 20 hertz and maybe up to, to 200 hertz, okay? So everything is possible in terms of this, of this software. Uh, so let's just, let's put this back to how it was, something like this, okay? Fit. And let's do this. Okay, something like this. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's put like 50 hertz over here so we don't have any problems with this. Okay. Uh, we also have, apart from the absorption coefficient, we have the reflection coefficient, which I don't use that much, but it's basically the inverse of the above value. And we have the transmission loss of our um, structure over here. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the limitations of this software in terms of prediction in another video. 
so bas basically this first video is just for you to, re to realize, realize what the program, what the software does. Uh, over here we have the direction of incidence, so this is diffuse field, but if you want to uh, unidirectional sound source, we can use it over here and let's say, let's put this at 30 degrees and we, we have an updated uh, chart. Let's put this again to diffuse field. We have, we can use this on different octave, ba octave bandwidths. So for instance, um, uh, one third octave bands or just simple octave bands or just uh, whatever you want. There's at least five possibilities over here. And then on the structure properties, we can click on any of the layers that we have created in our structure and we can change this information that we have. So for instance, we can change the density or the flow resistivity of, of our um, uh, mineral materials, for instance. Um, we can change the air temperature of the room, the, the humidity. So all the parameters that we can uh, think of, we can change all this information, basically. And apart from that, we can also choose which model we are going to use. There's a bunch of models over here. Um, of course, we can uh, use the, the, mo the oldest ones, like Dell and I, or we can use something like um, uh, the Komatsu, which is one of the, which, which is one of the uh, most recent ones. So there's the, a bunch of models that we can use. I'm going to talk a little bit about this in an uh, in a, in a, in a, in a additional video. And to wrap it up, of course, we can also um, create a, a, a rigid wall, for instance. So if we have like a concrete wall and then we have our absorption system, we, we don't need to create a concrete wall over here. We just say that we want to terminate the back and we read a rigid back over here. And also we can define the dimensions of our structure. So it can be an uh, infinite st structure or it can be related to the ISO, which is the, the lab um, standard measurements, or we can, we can define these according to, to our, to our uh, wall. So basically one of the tricks that I do with this software is uh, I'm going to pick up a lab measurement from a material. I put the material, in, material on sound flow. I try to adjust the, materi the ma material on sound flow. So it goes accordingly to the measurements that were made on the lab. And then I start from the, there to create my own structure, for instance. So that is basically uh, one of the ways that I use Soundflow to give me more um, realistic or re reliable information. So this is it to wrap it up. I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned because we have more videos about Soundflow. Thank you so much.